Good afternoon, Facebook. This is Teresa B coming to you live with Amplified Exposure. Today, I have my lovely guest, Judge Joe Brown, who came all the way on my screen because he likes me. <laughs> so all he, right. <laughs> he came to visit me today, and I'm so honored and blessed that he came today. How are you today, Judge Joe Brown? My dear, I'll manage. <laughs> so I have just a couple of questions for you and I'm so glad you joined us tonight. I'm sure that we have a lot of people waiting for you to log on. So I'm sure you're going to have a lot of questions tonight by the time we're done. But if you could please tell the audience, when did you get started in law and how long in law before you made it to a television show? Oh, about 50 years ago at UCLA. And when did I get the TV thing? Mm -hmm. That was 22 years ago, right about now. Okay. So who came up with the idea that you should be a judge on TV? Well, there was this guy named Peter Brennan. He was from Australia. He did the courtroom beat there. He ragged out Rupert Murdoch. Rupert Murdoch got impressed, brought him to America. He did some successful tabloid shows. There was this other character named Larry Little. He and Aaron Spelling had a great dispute because Larry Little is difficult to deal with. Spelling tried to fire him. He had a no-cut contract, so he sent him into Siberia for a while, got tired of paying him for doing nothing, and then brought in Peter Brennan and said, create some shows. So they bought Moesha from the CEO of CBS. Then Peter Brennan started Judy, then they wanted her to take less money, so they brought me in to intimidate her, and then they came up with the Parkers. Mm. Uh, Viacom bought the whole box worth of goodies the following year, and we went there, and it's been a never-ending up-and-down battle against the field of Hollywood <laughs> and trying to do right. Now, I wasn't <laughs> doing a show per mm -hmm. se, we got sued very early and it went up to the California Supreme Court. So they declared me a qualified arbitrator under California law and ruled that what I was doing was binding contractual arbitration. A few years